What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and another week of The Bad Batch. As usual, we'll be jumping straight into spoilers, so if you have not seen this episode or if you've not seen this show, uh, definitely go check it out and come back and check out this video. But for now, let's hop into my thoughts on the 12th episode in the series, simply titled Rescue on Ryloth. I talked about it in last week's episode, but I was incredibly happy to see Harrison Dula, uh, as well as her father and mother, for the first time her mother, uh, but her father as well, and, and Chopper, her droid, uh, make an appearance in last week's episode, as last week's episode only had about five minutes of the Bad Batch being in their own show, and that's really because they wanted to set up the whole narrative, and just altogether awesome to see Harrison Dula, a fan favorite character from Star Wars Rebels, and in a younger age, different time, uh, at the beginning of the season we saw Kayla. Of Doom, also known as Kanan Jarrus uh, from Rebels. Uh, so really awesome to see those connections to the Clone Wars in this show as well as Rebels. Uh, this has been a great follow-up to the Clone Wars in terms of it being like directly after those events while also having that connective tissue to Star Wars Rebels kind of leading us into to that. So it's really cool to be able to have a story right in the middle that has all that connective tissue. But after last week's episode, Hera's on the run with Chopper. She's uh, in hiding now uh, because her parents have been captured by the Empire as they are taking control of the Twi'lek planet of Ryloth. And uh, yeah, overall, really enjoyed this episode once again. We pick up right from there not too long into it. And Hera, since she made the connection with Omega, who's with the Bad Batch, in the last episode, actually ends up reaching out to the Bad Batch, specifically Omega. Uh, Hunter doesn't really know that Omega's given her the comm channel. But yeah, Hera ends up reaching out and says, hey, I need your help. My parents have been uh, taken by uh, the Empire, and I don't know what to do. Uh, so eventually, uh, the Bad Batch do end up deciding to go back to Ryloth uh, due to Omega kind of pushing them in that direction. At first, they're not really all about it, specifically Hunter. Uh, but when they get there, uh, they end up teaming up with Hera to save her parents from the Empire and uh, yeah you just have a good fun action heavy episode uh, that also has like a nice like stealth element to it and ultimately again it's just super awesome to be able to get some of this connective tissue uh, to what's happened uh, to Harrison Dula prior to the event of Star Wars Rebels and yeah ultimately this episode for the most part is just a rescue mission you have the Bad Batch working with Hera and Chopper to go and get uh, their parents out of uh, the Imperial prison that they have there on Ryloth or just the prisons there that they have on Ryloth in general. And then you have this clone troop Hauser the entire time who was introduced for the first time in last week's episode and fans have just been loving his design. Uh, and yeah, he is against the Imperials in this situation. He doesn't really believe in the way that they're choosing to go about this and doesn't really necessarily agree with it. So it's really cool to see a clone trooper who, though he has dealt with the whole Order 66 thing, that he's probably under that control, uh, he's still not 100% for the Empire because, you know, there's still those values in him he knows what he was as a clone trooper he knows what you know his presence meant to the people of ryloth prior to the events of the empire even being a thing during the clone wars uh so yeah really thoroughly enjoyed this episode once again just great animation loving the voice acting throughout the course of it the music has just been top notch really love omega and just that connection she has um with uh, the rest of the bad batch this was actually the first time that she actually called them her brothers which i actually really enjoyed i love that little touching moment and and she tells that to Hera Syndulla, and she's kind of surprised by that at first. But yeah, it's just awesome to know that that family bond is continuing to grow with the Bad Batch and Omega. And I love that Omega's this character that can kind of keep Hunter and them in line to continue to show who they truly should be, who they truly are, you know, who these clone troopers were during the Clone Wars, what their purpose was, you know, and I like that you have a character like Omega that keeps her in line. Yeah, this is just going to be a quicker video because ultimately this is mainly a rescue mission, and as usual, I don't go for full-blown breakdowns of every single thing and every single line of dialogue that ends up happening, uh, but ultimately this was a really fun episode, and it ends with the rescue of General Syndulla and his wife, uh, so now Hera and her parents are off on their own, they're going to be uh, moving on somewhere else. There's a nice little moment there near the end where Hera does say, you know, that I'm sure our, our you know, paths will cross again, or I'm sure we'll see each other again to Omega. And so I wonder if that's just them kind of laying down the groundwork for maybe seeing them later in the season, which only has a few more episodes, or perhaps maybe seeing them in live action at some point, since we do know that the Ahsoka show that's going to be in live action is going to follow up the events of Star Wars Rebels. And we also know that, uh, you know, 
the Book of Boba Fett is coming later this year, uh, and we now know that Omega is essentially Boba Fett's sister. So I am very curious to see how they tie that all into things. I just have to imagine that they're laying the groundwork down for all these characters to come together from these various shows. So yeah, just really looking forward to seeing how they continue to build up the story around Omega. I really love her character. I really love the connection she has with the rest of the Bad Batch and how she kind of keeps them in line. Once again, the one thing that I will say this far into the show is that outside of Hunter and maybe Wrecker, I just feel like Tech and Echo have just not gotten a whole lot of love in this show in terms of really fleshing them out further in this one show. I think if you were to watch this show as your first time watching anything that has these characters, Hunter and Wrecker are going to be the ones that you maybe have the most connection to, whereas Echo and Tech just haven't had as much screen time to really flesh out their characters. Now, the other Bad Batch member who has not been working with them at all this whole episode or this whole season uh, is Crosshair, of course, because he is still under Order 66 working with the Empire. And at the end of this episode, because he was a part of this whole episode and was kind of dodged by the Bad Batch the entire time, uh, especially thanks to Hauser, who ends up kind of sacrificing himself to get arrested near the end and calls for other clone troopers to work with him. Crosshair ends up having that guy arrested, as well as the other clone troopers who work with Hauser, and uh, ends up asking the Imperial officer there if he can go after uh, the Bad Batch, who are now on the run after what they've just done at Ryloth. So, yeah, very curious to see what ends up happening in the next episode. I hope that it's not until the very last episode that we end up getting Crosshair turning back into, you know, a regular clone trooper that they get the inhibitor chip out of his head. I hope we don't have to wait till the very end. I really hope that at some point within the next episode or two uh, that Crosshair gets that inhibitor chip taken out of him because I'd love to see at least a couple episodes uh, with the Bad Batch all together, including Crosshair. So definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Love this episode. Had a lot of fun with it. De definitely curious to hear what you guys have to say about this one. This was a lot of fun. If you are a longtime Star Wars fan like myself and you love all the little Easter eggs and connections to Star Wars Rebels and the Clone Wars, uh, let me know how this has all kind of been for you. Do you like when they do stuff like this? Do you not like when they do stuff like this? Definitely curious what you guys have to say about this. So please hit that like button, comment your thoughts, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.